Hey guys, um, one more episode from my Logic series for you guys. In this one, I'm going to talk specifically about Logic and OBS. I'm using OBS on my Facebook live show. If you haven't seen it, I'm doing a show every Saturday, Neil's Live From Home, where I use my Logic session um, uh, that I'm describing here, um, not only to play back the music, uh, but also to control OBS. OBS stands for Open Broadcaster Software. It's a free software you can download. It's a, a streaming software. Um, as I said, I use it for my Facebook live show and I can control it with MIDI, which is beautiful. There's an extra plugin you can get. I have the links below. Um, the plugin is also free, which is a wonderful thing. Um, but the great thing is that I can now, uh, with Logic, control different scenes in OBS. OBS is built out of different scenes. Uh, a scene could be a certain camera angle, uh, graphic, uh, any kind of media playback, anything you want, gra uh, text overlays. You can bring up all kinds of stuff and then switch back and forth in real time using Logic as you're playing along with the music. That's basically how I do it. I'm going to show you this in detail right now. Um, just as an example, if you have never seen my show, Neil's Live From Home is on Saturdays. You follow me on Facebook at Neil's Guitar. You can check him out or on YouTube at Neil's Guitar as well. Um, here's a short example just to you get a little bit of the idea what I'm doing with that. And then I'm going to tell you in detail how I get there. Walk in the dark. So you saw how the camera switched from one angle to the other while I was playing and that was all controlled in real time by Logic uh, with the song, different sections will bring different camera angles and you see my cameras here in the back, there's my iPhone here, there's my Sony camera, also got a little webcam for uh, a close-up shot of my fingers and I can go back and forth with this stuff and uh, so let's uh, start with looking at OBS, what, what OBS looks like in this case. So this is OBS right here. This is um, the preview window. This is what's going to stream. Here are some controls to start recording, start streaming. Uh, your settings where you set your uh, a streaming key. This is one when you go live on Facebook, they will give you a streaming key. So when you set up your session in Facebook, go for add live video, they give you uh, you go uh, set up live video and you get this screen where it says use webcam or streaming software. So you select streaming software and they will give you a streaming key and all you have to do is copy that. You just copy paste it in here and you're done. That's all you have to do once you paste it in there. Uh, all the other settings you can leave pretty much at default and, and, and uh, it remembers it. You don't have to mess with it every time. Now this one is the interesting section here. These are the different scenes. And you see a scene con uh, consists out of different elements. Uh, Neil's Life From Home, that's an image. I'm going to turn this off. You see it will be gone. I, pl and I can place this anywhere on the screen. Uh, uh, I, uh, the Atom is uh, my translator for my Sony camera. So this will be a Sony camera. And then my USB audio mixer for my audio. 
and you see it has a, uh, there's a little volume so I can make sure each scene has the same volume uh, it's fairly straight ahead hi guys I need to interrupt here for just one second as I was about to finish the video I realized that it's a lot of stuff for you guys to download install set up um, and if I go into detail right here it'd be very tedious and long so I'm gonna make another video with detailed instruction how to download the OBS how to install it how to get the plugins for OBS um, I'm also putting a template together for you to download for OBS uh, that basically has some basic scenes that you can start working from um, how to in, uh, with instructions how to install the audio router uh, the, the uh, black hole 16 and all that kind of stuff how to set that up on your Mac and uh, an enhanced logic session that has an OBS track in it already with some basic keys which is a couple examples that you can start building from to make it easier so stay tuned for that um, download link I will place somewhere here below or uh, <laughs> in a, at the end of the video so um, back to the program in progress so let's look at some of these scenes I have set together. Um, my opening. I'm this is the opening to my show. It has a countdown counter. And it's basically just playing back a video file in full screen. Uh, this scene you already saw. I usually start with that. And then I go into maybe my standard iPhone uh, shot. Which has a little... Uh, uh, um, tip jar a display on the bottom or I switch to my Sony camera which is a similar one just from the other side um, or as I said my webcam is a close-up of my fingers I have other uh, shots um, of CDs uh, on the right corner uh, different albums for, if I play a song from a certain album I can bring up the CD cover um, um, even with different animations and slideshows um, while I'm playing along. Let me see if this will slide along. Yeah, see there's a slideshow. So all this, if you look for instance, well, how is this put together? There's a text on the top, get the CD with the little uh, link to my website. That's a slideshow basically is a photo out of different photos this is a CD cover that was the original cover if I turn the slideshow off or once it's done it disappears and it will end up with just the picture of the CD the black horizontal is just the background so you see the text clearly up here and all these elements can be resized and and put just where you want them to be my USB mixer that's where my audio comes in from my lavalier mic and then here on my cameras I'm using this camera the the Sony camera if I wanted to use the iPhone well this is not a good one let me throw this away this is an old link let's if I wanted a iOS camera so I'm gonna add add the existing one be this one and you see there it is and I can move the, the order around so the text is on top so I usually put the camera away on the bottom so all the elements sit on top of that camera angle I can make the window bigger if I wanted to show something else or a close-up and this is all remembered in this scene and that's all you can put together in in uh, OBS and it streams it out to whatever uh, platform you have and it also records it so you have a video on your desktop uh, after the show which I usually use to upload to YouTube afterwards um, now how does this get controlled from Logic for this I do use a plugin which is called OBS MIDI MG it reacts to a note on in which looks at MIDI note 108 on MIDI channel 1 108 corresponds with let me just look up here 
108 is a C7. It does scene switching when it encounters this command, it, uh, it switches the scene and it switches the scene to the Sony One iPhone. I could like pick any of my scenes from OBS to be switched to by 108. This is my Sony iPhone. If I use my web camera close up, there would be 112, which is an E7, and um, that will trigger that webcam. Now let's look at the logic session. So here's my big logic session, as you can see. It's like a, over 100 songs in there. Some of them are multi tracks, some of them are just TV tracks. You have all my markers up here. Um, here you see the different song sections, intro, verse, pre chorus with the um, IAC switch. That's a controller change that makes it go to the next section, go to the next song, stop and start logic. Um, down here I have a um, track with score. And you see it, it shows me just a chord chart. Or sometimes if it's a new song or a song I haven't played in a long time I might forget what what are the changes here on the bridge and I can just peek over and see that in real time but the interesting part that we want to look at is this pink track right here the OBS switch screen track and you see I am uh, selecting IAC driver bus which we had selected in our MIDI as uh, the track that I want to look at. The IAC, for those of you guys who haven't go out of sequence, we set that up in our earlier episode. That's the internal Apple uh, um, MIDI bus, so to speak, where you can get uh, info MIDI information from one program to the other. I'm going out MIDI channel one out of this bus, and I'm here, you see, I'm putting up MIDI notes. And I can just pencil these in as I like with the pencil tool. Let's look at what that effect is in um, OBS. And you're going to see how logic will affect um, the OBS scenes. You can see there's two things happening at the beginning of the song. Over here it will switch. Uh, this is a D8. It will basically uh, create a fade transition. And you see OBS already setting here. And and then the first camera angle is Sony One, which is this Sony camera with a little uh, tip jaw link on the bottom. And then it goes right away to um, a music video window, which will play back this music video in the left corner. And then the next change will be right here. That happens right at my verse, where uh, you will see the album cover. And then right over here, what's going on is we're switching from fade to cut. And you saw the switch over here as soon as I touch it. And then these three MIDI notes switch to these different angles, making it appear like it will jump towards you. And this happens in real time. Then it goes to video full screen, back to my Sony camera. Check it out real quick. <laughs> You see those cuts all happen really nice in rhythm with logic uh, controlling basically when the camera gets switched uh, and, and I can just look at my song form let's say here's a little breakdown maybe I want a close-up so that switches over to my close-up right here and then at the beginning of the solo it switches to this view and then four bars later uh, it switches to another camera angle. The nice thing is that you can really change these camera angles in real time in sync with the song. And you can put your scenes together uh, like what uh, do I have? Yeah, this one right here is one where I advertise for my uh, jam tracks, uh, my backing tracks. And it will come on uh, right there. And then, or I will basically advertise the CD again um, with a cover 
and and so forth you can put all kinds of stuff up in real time whatever you want to create together and the time it takes a little time to put a really nice setup together but once you have it in there you can reuse it every time it will stay in there on this track um, and that's really um, how i put this show together i have a couple extra things like if i go to this location right here and then it triggers my uh, little fan club display how to sign up for my pan fan club and then i can f with with the the other go to and stop command go to the next song i can put the tour calendar uh, calendar in there so and maybe even my promo video let me play that back <laughs> There's a couple other automations I want to point out real quick that I do. This other thing is the advanced scene switcher. As, as you just saw, it would switch from end screen 1 to end screen 2, and then it's going to stop screaming. Uh, stop streaming. <laughs> advanced scene switcher looks like this. And here I can tell it, uh, I have like the shot when the current scene is my opening which is actually not one minute it's 90 seconds now for the next se uh, 90 seconds it's going to switch this scene to the facebook live which is this the, uh, and for the show end it will basically switch from uh, uh, end screen to end screen two and it also going to stop the recording so you can automate that the webcam like for the close-up shot I have that time for 12 seconds, so after 12 seconds, without me having to put in a logic command, it goes automatically back to uh, the Sony One preset. So that is basically how I put this show together. Um, and uh, I have one more video for you where I go into detail how to do the whole setup. As I told you earlier, I uh, put a package together, a download package with an enhanced logic session. Um, and uh, links to all these uh, plugins and, and software that's free and that and then I'm going to describe exactly how to set it up uh, so this stuff works for you guys hopefully you can put this together and with the template get you started um, and, and up and running real quick and you know uh, the sky's the limit on your creativity so have fun with that see you at one more video until then Niels out <laughs>